Hello everybody, this is Richard Sesame, this is Matt Catsphere, and I'm here with the video to um, talk about something a little bit different. Um, as you guys know, I'm into, uh, you know, uh, spirituality and afterlife, things like that. I, I think about them and I ponder about them. And um, I want to talk about spirits and things like that and um, analyzing um, the character and mannerisms and physical, uh, physical movements of spirits caught on camera. And uh, this is just a video that I just wanted to share with you guys. It's not anything that I'm, I'm not going to make it like a series or nothing like that. Uh, this one just caught my eye and I feel like it's very important I want to share. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some videos here. And um, we're going to see this person. Look to your left and there's going to be a spirit uh, standing up. You're going to see motion. See that white blur right there, see? It's sitting and then it's going to stand, see it stand, it stood up, and then it's walking over, but it disappears. Now what we're going to do, we're going to talk about is that um, I believe in this, and I believe that it is real, because if psychonesis is real, then so can spirits be real. You know, and psychonesis is real, which is what I practice. And the thing is, though, is that we're going to analyze these videos, and I'm going to talk about um, the psychological, emotional states uh, that are involved in spiritual entities, and why they're very indecisive in their image, and very uh, muddled in how they represent themselves on on in person or on video. And this is what we're going to do today. We're going to look at a few clips. Now, this is, there's another one right there walking. I'm going to analyze that clip very well, and I'm going to analyze how he's walking. We're going to get right into it. See that? There's another one right there. It might be the same person. Now, right here, the spirit appears. He's walking. See how he's standing? And he kind of like stops and he looks to the left of him and he kind of stands still. If you look again, he's going to show it one more time, a few more times. Right here again, look at him. He's walking, looks to the left, he stops, and then he continues walking forward. Now the thing is though is that what I saw from that, it's going to show it again. Uh, what I see from this is that he's, the reason why is because he's stopping. Um, his legs look like they're stationary and that they cannot move. We're going to analyze the emotional state of what that physical movement means. Now, the reason why um, it looks so strange, the spirits walking and their appearance looks so strange on camera, is because they're um, emotionally, um, um, they have emotional problems in death. And, they, and whatever problems you have in the living, you carry. And you see how he's walking and he stops. And it seems as though his legs seem like they fuse together. They become one leg. And the reason is because his mind is going in all types of directions. But when you see him in a physical, uh, in a spiritual form, the physical embodiment of his problems, of his emotional state, becomes manifested. And you can see that he has, he's indecisive in his decision making. He looks left, but his legs are stationary, they're solid together. So like it's like his legs are separate and his bot and his upper torso is separate from his decision making. He has two different separate decision make um and decisions. And then as he steps forward, it seems as though his left leg is gonna go forward, but actually his right leg. Now what's going on here again is that um his indecisiveness, who he was as a person is being manifested through his uh his physical movement. You know, it's very um kind of all over the place which is a reflection of who he was as a person as a living person um, you know his legs is going one way they seem to be stationary for a brief moment you can look at it right here it's for a brief moment his left torso looks left his torso looks left and his legs look stiff but it looks like his legs are going his head is going one way and his legs are going another way like they're both separate what that means is that he has two conflicting um, decisions to make for himself and what that is that's a reflection of who he was as an individual um, he was very indecisive and very childish and didn't really care about life and wasn't very he was neither here nor there and like as a spirit now that's become manifested through his physical embodiment his, his emotional psychological social state his um, his um, his earthbound mental state is being reflective in his spiritual state until he crosses over. And the thing is, is that this is also a reflection of the human condition itself. You know, this is also a huge reflection of the human condition itself. In death, you're reflecting the human condition. You know, very important thing. See how he looks very confused. And the way he walks, you know, he's trying to look human, trying to act human. But his body is going, his legs is one way. And his body's going the other way, which is a sign that he has he still has problems, emotional problems, trying to figure things out. He looks confused. He looks he doesn't know where he's going, doesn't know what he's doing. But later on he will be. 
And right here, we're going to look at another video of the spirits going to cross over. Right in front of the trees, just look closely. Right there, there. You see him? He crossed over. Now, the thing is, though, is that on, on this video, it's going to show uh, multiple times what different um, different ways to see him, different lighting and things like that. But what it is is that the spirits have to allow you to see them. They have to allow you to see them. That creates, they need to use a lot of energy to do that. It's like putting on a show. You know, they have to do it the right moment when they feel good. When they feel, when you're in the right state of mind and when they know that you are. And when they are ready and when they feel that it's right. Right there, see him again? He has like a white bald head and white feet. It's going to show one more time better here. Look closely, right there. And the thing is though is that, um, but the thing is though is that uh, they also have their own personal problems. They have their own personal issues that they have to figure out. And the reason why they're not, you can't see them that well is because you are not you you are not open minded enough, and they are not open minded. They they have their own issues, so both of you need to be fifty fifty. Now, right here is a little kid in the cemetery at the mausoleum. He's hunched over. This is a security guard, and the thing is though, what's strange is that with spirits is that even though they look like they're hunched over, like in the picture video right here, it doesn't seem like it. Like the lang the body language doesn't say that. So that's all on them. They're confusing us. So again, this is Richard says, but it's Mad Cat's Fear. This is a little clip of me practicing uh, basic training for uh, rolling a solo cup with my uh, body energy and my intention and and, uh, and and protecting my presence. I know you guys have seen this one, but this is for new subscribers. Um, I also practice psychonesis, so come right onto the channel and learn. I also have, a, I've improved a lot. This is an old clip of me rolling a side cup. This is very basic training, very basic. And uh, I've been able to roll a, a can. Uh, I've done live streams, rolling a can and solo cups and, uh, and, and other things like that. So um, I, I've improved a lot. So come on over and uh, learn. and uh, But have an open mind. And you can do it too. Practice on side wheels. Build your foundation. And again, it's Rich Says, but it is. I want to share with you guys. This video is just about spirituality, about ghosts and things like that, analyzing them like parapsychology. I hope you guys got a little spooked. That's what it is. Just fun. It's to get a little spooked. It's Mad Cat's Fear. Thank you guys. God bless.